Do you ever wake up and just ask yourself, why does that hurt? I don't, there's no reason that should hurt, but it does. Oh man, not getting any younger, but we're still, we're still trucking. We're still trucking in life, trucking on YouTube. A little bit, a little bit. All right, let's go find an oval. In college, we used to jog three miles holding our spikes in our hands from the uh, campus down to the track, Potts Field. And uh, now my closest track is six miles that's open right now during the school year. So thank you Camelback for the uh, vest. Brand new vest from Camelback, it's nice. It's feeling good. Appreciate the uh, scent and the gear. But the spikes are in the back for the track. Now I'm not, uh, I'm not giving up on my 2024 running goals. Trust me. Despite having to take basically two and a half months off of serious training, I was still running, but not very much. Wasn't going to the gym just because of life circumstances. You know, everyone's okay, family's ha healthy and happy, but life popped up, and I just had to. I had to focus on some other priorities in life is the bottom line. So, but we're back. I'm back to training at the volume I like to train at. And I haven't forgotten about the goals. And actually it's crazy though. I said this late December, 2023. Uh, two years ago, I was at 4,100 miles. Last year I was at 3,900, I do believe with the sacrum stress fracture. So I'm right in the ballpark. Again, we'll come back to the mileage and vertical or the mileage and vertical here in a minute. And last goal for 2023, 34, 340,000 vertical feet. Um, I'm ending up 9,000 feet short. And I might as well talk about this right now. For these mileage and vertical goals that I have every year, it's just ranges, okay? It's fun to chase. It's fun to keep yourself accountable to overall goals for the year, but I'm not gonna go out and run 9,000 vertical feet between now and the new years just to hit that goal and risk, I'll just say it, like injury or like, don't, uh, just be careful with, if you do have big goals like that, um, be accountable to them, but don't, if you get behind or if you get a little niggle and you need to take a week off, don't feel like you should try and make that up. I mean, I, I called it, sometimes life happens and you just gotta pull back a little bit, but you don't give up on your bigger long-term goals and projections in the running space and life, but in the running space specifically in that video. Uh, so now in the present, uh, the birthday mile. Yes, I want to, I, I can't believe, frankly, that I ran 438. Here's some footage from the 438. Shout out to Steve for filming. That was, uh, I think it was almost four years ago. I can't remember, maybe three years ago, actually. And I ran 438 at a track. And so I want to PR my birthday mile and it's coming up. So that is what, and you know what's interesting? I came up with this idea, the birthday mile, you know, four or five years ago, just kind of for fun. But now I'm realizing, and everyone in DG, a lot of people in DGR do a birthday mile where you go to, a, you preferably a track, you run as fast as you can for one mile. And what's nice is that every year, it's a little bit of a challenge to make sure not only are you getting in your long runs, but you're also getting a little bit of turnover in your workout as well which is why we're at the track today. Introductory workout. I do this workout every uh, every time I'm introducing speed into my training. 300 meter repeats on the track. Nothing crazy fast, not all out. It's basically a long stride, a little faster than a long stride, eight to 12. I'll probably, I'll probably do eight, we'll see. The legs are a little tired from the long run on uh, Monday. Uh, so anyway, that's what we're up to. Oh yeah, question of the day. We're through Q1 2024. How are you doing on your goals for this year? Uh, most of my goals will transpire after June, after July, you know, the FKTs in the mountains, uh, the mileage, the vertical gain, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, but this is one of them, the birthday mile. So let's, let's get laced up, start to, <laughs> Get a little turnover going because the it's nice like the fitness is coming back it does come back you all know that if you're consistent uh over the long haul 
You might have to take a little time off like I did, but over the long haul, you will return. <laughs> well, that was fun. Little eight by 300, nothing crazy. All right, 55 seconds. It was just nice and easy. Uh, got a little turnover going, felt good. Again, getting ready for that birthday mile, but uh, oh yeah, the sled. Don't do the sled if you're a track runner. If you're getting ready for short distances, the only reason I push that sled, whether it's in the gym or at the field here, is for uphill mountain running. I think because of the form that you're actually using as you're pushing that sled, it's very similar to running up steep mountains. Like it's short steps, powerful steps. All right, so that's why I use the sled. It's not a, it's not for track runners out there. Just want to clarify that. All right, goal number one for 2024 is to uh, was mobility and core. I've been working pretty good on the core lately. Got to still focus on the mobility, uh, but the kettlebells have been my friend in the gym. Let's go get it. back 16 miles on the day not too shabby all right here we go the i don't even know where to begin with this one um the most obscure strange unique um i just bizarre almost running injury that i think i've ever had in my life all right and yes could potentially uh in include surgery to resolve this issue uh, I'll just say it's a uh, any optometrist out there, all right? A tergium? Is that, am I saying that right? Surfer's eye, all right? Let me just look at this here. Uh, it says, also known as surfer's eye is a raised wedge-shaped growth of the conjunctiva that extends onto the cornea. Basically, I have this, this growth on my eyeball and it doesn't hurt. Uh, it doesn't obstruct my eyesight at this point but it is something that I have to be aware of, watch, and potentially have surgery for because it, they really don't, they don't go away. And it can expand and eventually it could grow to the point where it is obstructing your view. Obviously, you don't want it to get to that point. Uh, based on the research I've done though, you can get the surgery and it can grow back. So that's not good. And the optometrist is like, what do you do for work? What are you doing out there? Why do you have this growing on your eyeball? And I simply said, well, I'm a runner. And specifically, I like running up in the mountains a lot in the summertime. And so what causes, sur I'm gonna call it surf surfer's eye, that's the nickname, um, sun, wind, and dust. Right. It's like, those are the three recipes for what I do. Like, that's exactly what is happening when I run above 12,000 feet. It's very sunny, very, it can be very windy. And yes, it can be a little dusty at times out there on the, tr it's like, she, so the, the, opt the doctor, uh, the optometrist said, um, that's exact, that's, it, that has to be why this is happening. So it is a running injury. Uh, because it's caused, that's what she said, like it's it's definitely going to be caused by your running. And that's why this, this topic is coming up because over on Strava, I'm getting a lot of questions about Seth. What in the world are you doing wearing these goggles? Well, now you know. All right. These are high grade goggles, meaning it blocks more of the sun. But also the main thing the doctor said is you want to try to keep your eyes out of really windy situations. All right. So I think they're actually working as far like they as far as keeping the wind out and the dust. Um, will I be able to wear them all summer long through the summer heat? I don't know, but they've been really awesome to wear uh, through the winter and early spring months here in Colorado, where yes, we do get a lot of wind. So that is my running injury that uh, is, might require. Well, I, I'm going to get a second opinion just to make sure uh, what the best course of action is, but. 
it's like, you know, what do you, it's like, yeah, it's not going to stop me from running at this point, but it is something I just need to monitor. So I love you all. Thanks for tuning in to uh, a little, a little baby track session, a little gym work. And then of course this, uh, this running injury. All right, there it is. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It just looks kind of, yeah, not so great. All right, onward and upward. We will, uh, Pass it to the, maybe the running injury playlist or something like that right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other.